at her granted wish, wastes it. Again, I put this through the computer program on the internet, uh, like a good Canadian should, and I write like Lewis Carroll. Perhaps, said the pink Rx Weasel, your bizarre behavior is performance art, originally in a cut and paste world. I'm going to roast that weasel, shouted the Hatter. Roast her on a spit, sputtered he. We crave self soothing, all of us, said Alice, taking the pink Rx Weasel in her arms and cuddling her. I find the presence of the pink Rx Weasel very soothing. We should let her bring your female side out. I'll have you know, said the Hatter, I have had a magic power added to my hat by a tiny fairy princess whom I rescued from drowning in the sea, T. I can go anywhere I want now by just thinking. Prove it, said the Duchess. The Hatter closed his eyes and contorted his face as he wished hard. Suddenly he was on the March Hare's porch twenty feet away. See, said the Hatter. Congratulations, said Alice. The Hatter beamed. Show us again, said the Duchess. Then he closed his eyes, contorted his face even more, and got back at wishing. Nothing happened. Oh, said the Hatter, I forgot. I only get one wish. You're bound to fail, said Alice, if you work too hard at proving yourself. You know, said the Duchess, the chaps from outer space were going to kill the Hatter when they found his genes were already well represented in an intergalactic breeding program. But they felt sorry for him when he tried selling them some of his hats and sent him back. Wrong, said the Hatter. They sent me back because I gave them one of my hats, and they were only too impressed and grateful. The hat needs cleaning, said the pink Rx weasel. Let me do it for you. You would make a good hat check, girl, said the Hatter. Don't say that, said Alice very gently. She is, after all, a nurse. You, Alice, would make a good hat check, girl, said the Hatter. Yale School of Nursing, said the pink Rx weasel. Did you have to go, to the Hatter, to a school where they make locks? Some chaps from outer space, as you call them, explained the Johns Hopkins doctor, gave the pink Rx weasel five years of university in five minutes. How did that happen, asked the Hatter. They were just, said the Johns Hopkins doctor, returning a favor, and they did it well, for she knows a few things I don't. Girls do well in school, I guess, said the Hatter. Girls can do anything, said Alice, and the weasel gave her a kiss. I didn't go do badly in school myself, said the Johns Hopkins doctor, although I did get help from my mother with the homework. Weasel, have you ever seen Vienna hanging from a cloud by a single thread, asked the Hatter. No, said the weasel. Alice, said the Hatter, have you ever seen a legless man out run a chariot? Never, said Alice. March here, have you ever seen a horse pull a cart over a bridge consisting of a sword with the blade up? No, said the March Hare. Duchess, have you ever seen a three-legged old goat carrying a thousand pounds of gold on its back? Not that I remember, said the Duchess. John Hopkins, doctor, said the Hatter, have you ever seen New Zealand honey flowing from a glacier? No, said the doctor. Weasel, have you ever seen crows mowing a meadow? Do I have to say, said the pink Rx Weasel? Shut up, said the Hatter, and answer the question. I can't both shut up and talk at the same time, said the weasel. Smart Alex, said the hatter. The pink Rx scribbled two letters on a na napkin and held it up. No, it said. Derma, said the hatter, did you ever see a snail go into a lion's den and slay all the lions? Not that I can imagine. Answer me directly. No, said Alice. Derma, said the hatter, have you ever seen a maple tree in full foliage with pancakes with maple syrup growing from the branches? This would be Canada if it ever happened. Might have read about it, said the Dormus. Yes or no, thundered the Hatter. No, said the Dormus rather meekly. Duchess, have you ever seen a barber who shaved his, his wife's beard? Don't go there, said the Duchess. Weasel, said the Hatter, have you ever seen a cat out scratch a polar bear? The Cheshire cat might, said the weasel. Yes or no, shouted the hatter. I don't know that I can honestly answer the question yes or no, said the very honest weasel about the burst and out to burst into tears. Alice, have you ever heard fish catching each other with their singing and throwing each other back? Definitely not, said Alice. 
Do it anyway, said the Hatter. You know, said the Weasel. No, said the Dormouse. Alice, have you ever seen a fly build a bridge? Alice struggled, shrugged your shoulders. Answer me, thundered the Alice. Yes or no? No, answered Alice. Duchess, are, Duchess, have you ever watched a toad threshing green? No, said the Duchess. I'm not a witch. Well, we'll see about that, said the Hatter. Oh, no, you won't, said Alice, and the pink Rx weasel in unison. Doctor, have you ever seen a baby rock its mother in a cradle? No, said the Don Hopkins doctor. Dermis, have you ever seen a red cow take fresh bread out of an oven? I haven't, said the Dermis. Pizza, said the Hatter. Not that either, said the Dormouse. March Harris, said the Hatter, have you ever seen two rabbits on a treadmill grinding wheat? My uncle, said the Hare, is crazy enough to do it, but I've never seen it. Have you ever seen two greyhounds do it? Never, said the Dormouse, now fully awake. Well then, said the Hatter, you are all a bunch of homebodies, and you need to get out there and see the world. What about you, said Alice, have you ever seen any of these things? No, said the Hatter. I'm the teacher around here, and I don't have to see or understand anything about a subject in order to talk about it. Sounds like the school I went to, said Alice. Did you, asked the author, go to Waterloo Lutheran University, as I did? That's the end of this segment.